Jordan Grace. Alyssa Wallach. Ashley King. Audrey Hazel. Jason Holt. Dorian Mobley. Daniel Kelly. Jennifer Vargas. And Tanali Rojas. And now, PHTV. Phoenix High School and welcome to another wonderful episode of PHTV. I'm Ashley King. And I'm Daniel Kelly. We have quite a few really interesting and informative announcements for you, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, seniors, ASVAB results are in. If you took the test, they are interpreting the results in the library right now during advisors. Also, remember to let Mr. Onesto and Miss Lamax, uh, Miss Lamax, know when you have been admitted to a college or university and which one you will be attending. Also, let them know of any scholarships you have received. Speaking of scholarships, the Southern Oregon Latino Scholarship is due on April 15th and the Phoenix Talent Education Association Faculty Scholarship, available for students who have attended the school district since second grade or longer, is due on April 10th. Also, the Dutch Bros card raffle happened last week, and the four winners are Sarah Morford, Patrick Carr, Gab uh, Gabby Gill, and Hannah Mathewson. Congratulations. Remember, pick up your prizes in the college corner. Also, seniors, remember to fill out our uh, task completion forms so you have a better chance of winning the iPad at the end of the year. More tasks completed equals more entries for that iPad. Are you interested in the field of nursing? There will be a trip to the OHSU nursing program at SOU to find out more about their program. There will be an SIM demonstration, demonstration discussion with nursing students, and a hands-on activity to see if nursing is the career for you. Also, freshmen and sophomores, there will be a trip to Oregon Tech on April 25th to preview their many programs including engineering, pre-med, dental, dental hygiene, veterinary, and computer technology. Meals are included. Stop by the College Corner and see Ms. Lemmix to find out more about either of these great opportunities and to sign up. Also, Anti-Bully Week will be happening uh, April 13th through the 17th. There will be several events and activities to help promote a safe and positive school experience for all. There are two events that students must sign up for if they want to attend. First of all, movie night is Wednesday, April 15th. We will be showcasing Mean Girls, Mean Girls, a great movie. So sign up in the office if you are interested. Also, in honor of this week, there is a new version of The Edge, an intense workshop aimed at creating more compassion and more empathy for one another. That we will be doing on Thursday, April 16th, periods one through four. You must get a permission slip signed and return it to the front office if you want to participate. There is an FFA lunch meeting Wednesday the 8th at lunch. 
obviously, and at lunch will be provided. The FFA 17th annual auction is Friday, dinner at 5 p.m., followed by the oral auction at 6. Meets judging practice is Tuesday at lunch and after school, and also Thursday at lunch. Food science is Monday and Wednesday after school. Floriculture is Monday and Tuesday after school, and nursery is Tuesday at lunch and Wednesday after school. In not eh, in National Honor Society news, you must turn in all of your volunteer hours immediately. Induction applications are available now and must be turned in by the end of the month. So get them from Mr. Cornett. For juniors and seniors only, you can earn foreign language credit by taking the Spanish proficiency test. It will take place in the library April 16th and 17th. So see Mrs. Hansen or Mrs. Sievert to sign up. Also, all My Future, My Choice members, remember your first lesson at TMS is this Wednesday, April 8th. So please be prepared. La Clinica services are still operating uh, at our school Thursday starting early morning around 8.30 a.m. If you have any medical, physical, or dental needs, please go to the attendance window to sign up. That's right. There is still time to join our Relay for Life team. We will meet regularly on Fridays at lunch in room N412. See Ms. Barton for more information. Elvira Terran will be performing with the PHS Jazz Band at the Imperial Theater as part of her senior project. The Jazz Band would love to have your support. They will be performing April 10th this Friday at 40 North Front Street in Medford. This is free to anyone who wants to attend. And attention to all juniors and seniors needing extra time in credit retrieval. The credit retrieval classroom will be open all day, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Thursday, April 23rd, the day of student-led conferences. If you need to use the credit retrieval room on that day, please sign up with Ms. Pond in room N420. Also, we are going to be selling Luminaria and Footprints again from now on until the event in May. Also, we have a baby picture that was brought in. We have no clue who it is, so please, Phoenix High School, help us find this baby. Uh, if this is you, please go let Lizzie McLennan know. Uh, we're desperately looking for whoever this is. Focus, focus. Oh, yeah, great focusing on that. Cute little baby. Oh, it's adorable. <laughs> you, you, whoever you are. So please see Lizzie McLennan and uh, get that cleared up. <clears throat> Starting fourth quarter, PHTV will seeking, be seeking feedback from various advisories about how our show serves the students. We are hoping with input from the students and staff alike, we can create a better product for you, the viewer. We have a segment to show you what we're talking about, so let's roll let's it. Let's roll it. Jeez, that episode was terrible. I thought it was pretty good. Well, I'm giving it a thumbs down. I'm giving it a thumbs up. Because your flimsy segment was in it. Jason, you stare at frozen juice cans because they say concentrate. Don't you have a terribly empty feeling inside your skull? Well then, what I'm saying is, next Monday, we can select a random advisor's class, they review it, give us feedback, and they can be the judge. That might actually be a good idea, even though it's coming from your numb skull. I'm in. There's only one thing left to do. Wait for feedback. So, be on the lookout for ratings in your advisory to make PHTV a better viewing experience for students, especially if that means more of my lovely face. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> um, it's so fun one. More of my lovely uh -huh. face, apparently. Okay, uh -huh. there we go. Okay. PHS is having a spelling contest. It will take place Tuesday, April 21st, 3.30 in the library conference room. That will then lead to the regional contest at SOU in May, and the state contest at, Oregon, at the Oregon State Fair in August. If you're interested, please stop by the main office hallway table and pick up your study sheet. Also, Breezy has still been hiding the camel around the school, and the first person to find it wins a prize. Um, the winner the, for the week before spring break was Cheyenne Woods, and last week's winner was Alexis Wilson. Congratulations. All right, and this week's breakfast specials are today. We have French toast sticks, uh, Tuesday waffles, and Wednesday breakfast burritos. Thursday we have breakfast on a stick, and Friday there's no school, so no breakfast. You could be eating candy for all we care. Um, for lunch, Monday is country-style chicken with smashed potatoes. 
uh, gravy and a roll. Tuesday is not hot ham and cheese fries, and Wednesday will be toasted two cheese sandwich with corn, tomato, and basil salad. Um, two, Thursday is chicken a la king biscuit with steamed veggies, and Friday, again, there's no school, so eat whatever you want, especially if it's candy. Just go home and eat candy. In sports, last Monday, March 31st, our baseball team played South Umpqua at home, but lost by one point with a score of six to seven. They also traveled to Sweet Home and lost with a score of three to eight. On Friday, they traveled to Junction City and reversed their fortunes, winning by a score of eight to three. They have two games this week, both home on Tuesday, one at 2 p.m. against Douglas and another to begin their conference season against North Valley at 4.30 p.m. So come out and support our Pirate baseball team. Absolutely. And in softball, last week on Tuesday, our Lady Pirates traveled to South Umpqua, losing by only one with a score of 5-6. to six. They also traveled to Eagle Point last Thursday, losing again by just one with a score of 6-7. to seven. Over the weekend, they had a doubleheader against Ashland and were swept, dropping both games. However, this week, our girls travel to Brookings Harbor today uh, to take on the Bruins. So, uh, also Friday, they play a doubleheader at Cascade Christian at 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. So, if you can go get a ride and support our Pirate softball team, please do. Yeah. On Saturday, our track team competed at North Medford and our boys placed 14th out of 17 teams while our girls took 10th place out of 17. Great job, track team. On Wednesday, our track team will travel to Henley High for a meet with Henley and KU at 4 p.m. Wish them luck. Good luck, tracksters. And uh, that about wraps up our show. <laughs> but first, it's trivia time! Last week. <laughs> Last week's question was, when is the last day of third quarter? And the winner is... Uh, I can't get it. Oh my god, I did not pick this one. Thank you, whoever freaking did this. Wait, stop. Okay. Um, Carissa Waldron in Mrs. Barton's room, you said April 9th. Congratulations. Congratulations, come get your prize in Mr. Rhodes' room. Thank you for this. Uh, this week's question is, what day does Anti-Bully Week start? Put your name, answer, and advisor on a paper and turn it into the folder on Mr. Rhodes' door and stick around for the pledge. As always, this has been your school, your people, and, and your, your news. news.